so I'm making the urn planter. It's French designed for my centerpiece. And I am doing it in bed because I'm still recovering from the flu, yes. The second bout of the flu in our home. I took care of Hannah and then she recovered and then I got sick also and now my son. So the two of us, the patient taking care of the patient. But I am stronger today. So I am doing the centerpiece. These are the flowers. Well, I put here underneath some styrofoam and then glued this moss on top. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and I was just drawn to this view here in our balcony beside the bedroom. So this morning we did the floral arrangement for my French inspired table setting. And then I also did a little bit of wrapping and packing, fragile items, orders that we need to ship out. They have accumulated in the past days. So we did some of that with the help of my assistants. And now I am just enjoying the view here. quite cold, really refreshing, the scent of rain, yes it's been drizzling the whole day and it's a welcome respite because it's been hot the past weeks. And also so that our new plants, which we have planted the past weeks as well, will recover from the heat. So this is the view here. It's so foggy. You can't see the mountains beyond the trees. Usually you can see the outline of the mountains there but now it's just so foggy so you know dramatic so this is my view now i'm having tea in bed and this is a rice cake which my husband bought in bulacan when he went to attend the worship service there and that one is noodles or pancit in our um language it's pancit with shrimps and vegetables which we cooked 
um, I was sick already in the kitchen and we cooked that. Well, I have, I, I'm going to have tea while binge watching the Chateau Diaries and trying to forget my headache. But what I really want to do is to sit up and sing praises to the Lord. I hope I will be able to do that after I have my tea. Now, the fruits that I have been waiting for since this morning arrived, they were delivered in our office because most couriers like Lalamov and Grab, they don't deliver as far as our place high up in the mountains of San Valley, Antipolo. So these were delivered in our office and my husband brought them home at 5 o'clock after office. So, you know what? I always feel loved whenever I have fruits, whether I am well or otherwise. So these are sweet mandarins. I got them from my Suki. Suki is a, um, a regular patron or a regular seller that you get from every now and then. Okay, so these mandarins should be sweet. And these are exactly the things that ow, we are needing right now. My, the, the, the whole family. By God's grace, only my husband is well. Um, Hannah is already recovering, but Tim and I are still not, <laughs> not on our toes. Actually, Tim has no appetite yet. But after I had tea, I was able to sing praises to the Lord. So we sang praises and worshipped. And then we laid, we prayed and lay, I laid hands on us, Tim and I. And cast out our illnesses. So I expect to be I expect us to be well anytime soon. Now these are fragrant pears, which are my favorite. They are tiny like that, and they look like they are not sweet or they are very maybe sour but no it's the exact opposite they are tiny but very crunchy very refreshing to eat and they are not sour at all so i like them these are red seedless grapes from australia It's so important to hydrate when you are sick of the flu. So these fruits are a much needed hydration. Unfortunately, all these fruits are imported from different countries. We don't grow them here in the Philippines. I'm very grateful to the Lord for the abundance of this very fresh fruits for our health so it's saturday afternoon and i was finally able to take a shower and be human again yes after being sick for a few days the second bout of the flu in our home so it started tuesday afternoon and by god's grace i was able to prepare for this um filming today um i was supposed to be filming downstairs for a table setting but i don't think i'm up to that yet so um hopefully i will be able to do it early next week so today but today there's a special surprise that um we are going to enjoy together because um last week i saw this 
huge lot of antique brass decor. I'm not sure if you love brass decor for your home, but um, you know, just to accentuate the, um, the, the home, for example, on your coffee table or any corner of the house, sometimes I use um, brass especially candle holders but i don't think we have candle holders in this lot or in this hall actually um it is a whole lot from one seller only and i wasn't able to really choose what i really wanted to take or to leave out so it's just the whole lot you have to take it or leave it the whole lot so there was no chance to choose any item so um it was my very first time to do that to get a lot an antique brass lot so uh and then when our driver went to pick them up he told me it's a win <laughs> it's a win for me so now it's my very first time to really see them and what they really are how big they are what uh what items are they for the home and yes it will be my very first time together with you so we are going to unbox so these are the boxes of the huge or massive antique brass hall and they came from one seller only, all in, whatever it is, whatever is included in the lot. It was spread out on the dining table and everything on that table is included in the lot, which I got. I paid less than $120 for the whole lot and our driver was so happy when they, he went to pick them up because he said it's really a win. Now we are going to see them. We are going to open the middle box. And the middle box and then that, uh, the biggest box and then this, the, this um, small box here. It's actually it's wide. I don't know what, what these are. So once again, my two assistants are helping me. Oh, what are these? Oh my gosh. That's a uh, what? I don't, I, I think it's upside down. No, I think that's upside, uh, no, upside down. Wow, I like that. It's like an ice bucket. That we can can be used for a plan. I think. Hindi na natapos yung pagbalik-balik na doon dyan. What is this? It's a bird. Oh my. And. Oh, it's for hanging. Please for. Um, oh my. I'm not a big fan of copper and brass wall decor. No, not at all. So this will definitely go to my online store for sure. So this is a combination of copper and brass wall decor. <laughs> First box that we opened. So this is a pair of I don't know. <laughs> it's a tall a uh, pair of it's a pair of tall bases, I think. And they are very heavy. It's with etched design. And they are heavy. But this one I like. This one I like. Look, there's a design of a lion. Handles, lion handles, like that. We're going to open the biggest box. 
I think this contains more planters, big planters, which are really mm. Yeah, it's like, what do you call that? For flowers? Yeah, so it's copper and brass. Copper and brass. Oh my gosh, that's a hanging, <laughs> hanging planter. planter oh my gosh these are all planters big planters I'm going to explain how you can use such grass planters and thick ones look at that super big oh what is that no more wow Another of those buckets. These are the contents of the Lord God. <laughs> I thought there's a lizard. <laughs> I thought that's a lizard. No, it's the... Oh my gosh. It's the chain. There's a chain. Because there are more inside. There are more planters inside. Anyway, I think this is a flower um, vessel for lack of a name for it. Yeah, it's copper. It's hammered copper. And I can sell this as a yeah, vessel for floral arrangement. And it should be um lovely because look at the handles there's an accent like that and also and it's quite heavy and also this one look also for um like a basket of flowers so that's what um you can use this for floral arrangements and then there's a lot of this oh they are heavy brass vases again for flowers you can use them for fresh flowers or um the silk ones for flowers in the coming days i will try to make some fl flower arrangements using these brass vessels so you can see how to use them well oh this is heavy look it has feet like that well i have a few brass vessels or planters around the house and I put floral arrangement into them. Yes, I use them for floral arrangement and they look good. So I'm going to show you how to use them as vessels for flowers. Brass planter. So, oh my gosh, it's heavy. And then there's another one and I think it's bigger. This one is bigger. Oh, it has a hole. These are antique and this needs repair. Yeah, I think we can repair this. This is antique and it's a planter as well. Can be used for planter or maybe trash can. <laughs> and this is the last box. I am hoping that these are very, mm, very exquisite decor made of brass also wow so this is it what, what are this these are tiny 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 there are more 
vases like this and I think they are a set like that because the design is the same so I believe they are a set they have the same design look they are etched it has etchings and this one also oh this one is heavy and wow yeah this is it's so unique look that design so unique this one is very cute and there are a whole lot more <laughs> what is this? it's a bad vase and this, another bad vase maybe or just a decor just a decor and this one yes another vase what else do we have here this one is a like a trumpet vase it's thick and heavy And there's more of that etched design vase. And this one also. I think, I don't know. Is this what they call the candle warmer? Or you're going to put something there? Oh my gosh, this is uh, mixed whatever they have put into this box everything everything from the tiniest to to beautiful decor like this one for the coffee table perhaps look so it's also a dish like that a vessel look at this this is a bird and it's solid brass it's heavy it's heavy what else do we have so we have bowls oh my this is super heavy this is heavy it's a bowl because it's very thick they are egg holders for when you have poached egg is that a poached egg or no it's a soft boiled egg for example a soft boiled egg you are going to put here and then you are going to um hit it with a spoon like that to open it and then you can spoon it out i think that's the use of it egg holder for breakfast yeah egg holder and then it's a tiny vase again i think this is the second i have another one here <clears throat> ah they have different sizes and then there are tiny dishes like this maybe for salt when you have a table setting look this one I have sold a set of swan before. So this is a set of set of swans. There's one more. And I think there's one more here. Look, it's a family of swans. Oh, there's more of that egg holder. And the salt cellars. I think these are salt cellars. And then we have a small fruit basket. Look at the design. And then this one, I like this. 
Oh, I really like this. I think I'm going to keep this. Look. Look at the chase design. Yes, they call this chase design. It's not really etched design. It's chase design. And this is thick and heavy. It's made in India. Vase. Mm, I think this is a set look. <laughs> it's tiny ear. Tiny ear. Tiny ear. <laughs> this one also is a good um, planter or vase for flower arrangement. It's a whole lot which I wasn't able to choose apparently but um, they are all going to my online store except per, except perhaps this one and they are true brass solid brass and antique most of the wall decor the plate decor are made in england so they are going to my online store if you are local and if you are already my customers in my online store zoe home inspired living um watch out for all of these <laughs> brass items so i just wanted to experience getting a lot uh a whole lot without me being able to pick the uh, each of the items and just to get them all uh, I just wanted to experience that and also to share uh, the enjoyment of opening yes the enjoyment of opening with you so I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so See you on next video. Thank you. God bless. Bye. My pink and white bougainvillea is thriving, while this other one, this should be the dark pink down on the fl floor, and that one on top of there is an old bougainvillea. It should be purple, so we pruned both some weeks ago, and we hope to see their blossoms soon.